how are we doing today welcome back to another vlogmas episode today it is wednesday and i have been very excited for this week for such a long time to be honest i was really excited for um the weekend that has just passed to come because i was so excited to see victoria and alana at vista and i've had a couple of days home just to literally like really quickly do everything that needs doing before we head off again and i'm actually seeing victoria again and alex uh ryan is too and we are going to also be seeing Josie and Charlie. We're going to stay with them. Uh, if you don't know Josie and Charlie, I'll leave a link to their videos in the info box. They are also doing Vlogmas and it's, it's, it is the coziest Vlogmas that exists in the world. They have invited us to go and stay with them. We're all having a big sleepover and I am so excited because there's nothing I love more then all of my friends being under one roof. This is like my favorite, favorite thing. I love sleepovers. Clearly didn't get enough of those as a child and I like making up for lost time. It's one of the reasons I love press trips as well. Just love all my friends being together. It's gonna be so nice, so cozy. We're taking the dog. So it's gonna be chaos, uh, especially because we've got three boy dogs and one girl. So Nala will most likely be the center of attention there. I honestly cannot wait. It's gonna be so lovely. Josie's already sent me an itinerary. I love her so much she's so sweet um and yeah i actually cannot wait to leave tomorrow but until then we are going to just make a little uh hamper i think for josie and charlie nothing crazy but like we're gonna cook some of our gingerbread and um i'm gonna go pick them up like a bottle of brighton gin tomorrow because i feel like they will really enjoy that it's also part of my petition to get them to bring a straw top cottage down this way just showing them the kind of things that they could put in that cottage. This has been um, one of the things that I've been most excited for about with Vlogmas. Um, like I might go into a slight sad state next week because my two things that I was most looking forward to this month are over. But at least we're like in the run up to Christmas then and we can really focus on that. So that's what we've got planned. I need to crack on and get some makeup on my face now because um, gingerbread needs a make in you know so i need to be ready by the time that ryan gets back from his haircut and then he's gonna help me make the gingerbread because i actually don't know how to do it this is obviously his remit you know the cooking the chefing did this makeup look yesterday for a campaign that I'm doing with Nas on my TikTok and I liked it so much that I decided to do it again today. I used, where is it? I used their Christmas palette. It was so pretty. Um, this is actually probably my ideal like evening palette. Look, look at this, this is so cool. It, you can actually do some daytime looks with this. I just prefer like different matte shades for daytime um but this color is stunning i actually have used it let me see if i can bring you in i've used it as like an accent to the liner i don't know if you'll be able to see yeah you can see there's like a purple along the liner and then i've just um right at the lash i've used these two matte shades and then just kind of like winged it out a little bit this one's gone a bit there we go there we go a little bit sharper and i've also taken it underneath as well it just looks very dark on camera when i'm looking at it right now um so it might just come off quite black to you guys i don't know if it will show um but in real life it's like super purpley and yesterday when i did it i actually used 
this shade here for the inner corner which really brought out all of the purples and it's great on dark eyes as well but just for like daytime today i felt like that was a bit much so i've just used uh this shade here just a tiny bit in the inner corners it actually looks a lot more purple without um the mascara so you could add a purple mascara if you really wanted to make it purple but um i think the addition of mascara makes it a lot more wearable i really like how soft it is i also think you could soften it even more by making the wing like bigger but softer and smokier a bit like how i did the other night when we went to uh the ivy god what vlog was that now i don't even remember what vlog that was i'm lost in a sea of videos but i did a gold smoky eye and just did quite a big thick liner but didn't bring it out too far and that's really soft and really pretty so you could make it a whole lot softer if you wanted to and you could also go without these two if you wanted it to be really really soft and just stick with this that would also look so stunning however this shade here which actually is a lot browner in real life like a lot less it looks a lot less warm to the eye in real life this would be stunning just as in every day doing the exact same as i've done now so i might do that tomorrow to be honest um i've got a little bit of this through my crease this would be stunning like this is this is giving me cranberry sauce vibes and i'm not mad about it i love them you know me and cranberry sauce but this is a lovely festive one as well and there's also a gold which could be really pretty and would also just make a nice little inner corner pop this is probably one of my favorite holiday palettes i've seen in a long time so um yeah very happy with it probably will be using it a lot over the next couple of weeks so a little outfit of the day before i get on with today's to-do list i've got a old zara cardigan on i bought this ages ago being like oh it's such a timeless classic and then actually didn't end up wearing it all that much but more recently i have been loving this it's just such a nice easy one to throw on um especially with these trousers these are my anina bing leather trousers the length on these is just perfect i'm so happy with them um and they're like the perfect high waistedness they're nice and like stretchy they fit so nicely around the waist as well and they're not too baggy on the leg and then i've just got an old pair of i think these are asos sock boots which are just like a key staple piece in my wardrobe my earrings are asos but edge of ember have some similar ones my necklace is edge of ember and then i've got an edge of ember ring a monica vinida ring and a raimi ring as well so just a really simple little outfit today but very snuggly this um jumper is actually lovely and warm um i've also got a low of a little tank top on underneath which i was originally wearing like this um but i actually decided it looked cuter with the button done up and now i can't get the button done back up oh, no. okay the hamper prep is starting do you want to show us what you picked up for the hamper oh i didn't know it was going to yeah it's looking very empty right now because i need to pick up the gin tomorrow and we haven't baked the gingerbread yet so what did you get honey gingerbread caramel Ooh. we can't well i can't try i don't know if you'll try it or not, i'll probably though. try a tiny bit sounds great i reckon josie will love that cranberry sauce one for well. charlie and his roast potatoes handmade in sussex mm. did you get the cheese in the end wait you're saying this is for roast potatoes no, the cranberry sauce, babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we... Did you get the cheese? Yeah. <gasps> he re well, um... You really treated them. This cheese looks so good. Ooh. Sussex camembert. Delish. Which, of course, I'm going to try. I was actually surprised you were happy to buy cheese. Like, Ryan is I that did, strict on things. I feel a bit weird, especially buying this as well. I was kind of like, this feels wrong buying, like meat products and cheese and dairy but it's a gift for others yeah and i thought Not. i can't like force people to be vegan <laughs> but i feel like charlie this, might be excited about this yeah like you dripping so what is drip can you tell me what dripping is because i don't actually well, know I think it's essentially just like animal fat wow i think i don't actually know i don't even eat meat but it sounds but i know wagyu is like great. expensive nice cut cow. yeah yeah i hear good things about beef wagyu in various yeah. different restaurants so yeah Oof, the exactly cheese though is, <gasps> that looks so good maybe we should pick up some crackers tomorrow on the way up because i'm going to take my cheese board my vegan cheese board okay yeah, i thought sure. that could be cute yes. yeah crackers. yeah perfect oh that'll be so cute yeah oh thanks babe i didn't have the time to 
go to the shop. So Ryan's really done me a solid here. Oh, this is so cute. And there's going to be a little Brighton gin that they can stock their bar cart with. I did look for um, like a local alcohol free sparkling yeah. wine or beer or something. Yeah, no, it's sad, but like I'm sure Josie will still enjoy the gin and they can stock their like bar cart with it, so it's still nice. I think this is really nice, just like a little thank you for hosting us, plus some homemade gingerbread will go really nicely with that. The gingerbread dipped in that, yeah, oh, could be Double delish, yeah, uh, yeah, and then a little Brighton gin. I think it's a cute little hamper. <laughs> It's gingerbread Welcome time. Welcome to our show. <laughs> Hungry curlies. Um, what are we doing? Making gingerbread. And um, how are we doing that? We are mixing butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. Oh. Are we actually? Yeah. You can get the whisk out. Okay. Do we have one of those? Yeah. Oh. oh, we do. So we'll leave the recipe that we use in the info box. However, we mostly like eyeball this. And we kind of use it as a guide because we still don't own scales. We really need to, you have them at yours, I don't have you? them, yeah. We need to bring them. them. Ryan's slowly moving everything over. Do we need to like warm this up? It should be room temp, to be fair. This probably is a bit. I should have left it out after I buttered my bread earlier. Maybe we could microwave it for like 10 seconds. Yeah, ago. okay. Uh, 100 grams of sugars. Okay, I think that's looking a bit more room temp. Here you go, chef. Stop. Do you reckon? You're asking the wrong girl. Do, I need, do we need to preheat the oven? Uh, yeah, but we, we're going to be chilling the dough for like oh, okay. 20 minutes or something. So oh. like, we'll preheat it. Thank you. I hate whisks. Right. Because yeah. everything just gets stuck in them. Right, I get it if you're making like liquidy like Yorkshire puddings that mix it's like yeah this makes sense but whisking sugar and butter to so we need 100 grams of golden syrup so what have we got we've got ground ginger ground cinnamon and ground cloves which all go in with the flour later on and the smell is unreal golden syrup and black tree cream. 100 grams of each. should apply for Bake Off. I would absolutely love to see that. I'm sure about that. Yeah, that would be so fun. We'll see how these turn out. They literally bake once a year. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gingerbread cookies, which I don't feel like that's going to get me a spot on Bake Off. Hey, they have gingerbread wheat. So it will be a nice dark golden colour. Yeah? Uh, getting there, getting there. Okay. Sift in the flour, baking powder and spices. Flour, spices, baking, baking powder. powder. Top shelf in the plastic container in the organizer, I believe. No, baking soda. We should do these, but with coffee instead of the spices. Yeah, that would be really nice. Like mm. coffee biscuit. Mm. Adding in the flour, by the way. Gently mix together, then use your hands to knead the dough. You like it? Wait, hands what? Did we? I don't remember us using our hands. Really? No. I'm sure we did. Uh, you definitely have been the one kneading it if there's kneading involved, because I would not be involved in that. You can do it now then. Mm -mm. Why not? It's messy. Do you remember the first time we did it and I read the flour amount wrong as well? And it was like really liquidy on that one. Yes. But I also I remember we ended up with so much, I don't know how we did it, but we ended up with so much dough that it was the best thing ever. It lasted us about a year. Do you think we're getting that? I think I'm going to go with my hands. I'm going to bring them in. We're getting there, guys. 
I think, anyway. The texture looks right now. Um, so it shouldn't be like too wet. You want like, you want it to be like really doughy, but yeah, not like, almost not like pizza like... dough. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a bit crumbly still maybe. Yeah. I don't know though. Here we go. So I forgot we're actually rolling these out. We got some cute little cookie, well you did, you got, you got me a cute little cookie cutter Copenhagen. for my birthday yeah, in Copenhagen. A couple actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll show you those in a minute. Should we just make one huge cookie? I would love that. Because <laughs> inside the dough would be raw and that would be amazing. We're gonna roll this out and make Josie and Charlie and Vic and Alex some little cookies. But then I'm also begging Ryan to leave me just some rolled up balls. That sounds weird. Um, to just leave me <laughs> some. <laughs> to leave me some balls on the side, <laughs> so that I can just um, put them in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so many jokes right now, but I'm gonna just go goodbye. So we've decided to break it back down slightly so that we can add some sea salt in, and also just a tiny bit more ginger, just to give it a little extra yeah, something pizzazz. it's gonna be so good so we're gonna chill it for how long i think it's like 20 minutes or something okay great just enough so that it can be rolled out without like falling apart yeah perfect okay see you in a bit the best bit about doing this as well is because it's vegan you can eat the raw dough thank me later here he goes we have these little cookie cutters which we picked up in copenhagen we have one that's a bone shape and then we have another one that is i think supposed to be a lamb but we decided that it looked so much like the shape of the dog that we're calling them little shrimps um but we actually got this one because we were going we had full intentions of making dog treats for her like with a dog friendly recipe uh we still have not done that shocking um, but we're very selfishly making ourselves some gingerbread. But we thought because it's Josie and Charlie, it would be really cute to take them dog shaped gingerbread because Josie, obviously, like Josie, I've never seen someone love their dog so much as Josie loves her dog. So I'm just really sorry that we didn't get a sausage dog um, little cookie cutter because I feel like she would have loved that so much. Was there a sausage dog? Yeah. Damn. Obviously, we didn't know no. you would be doing them for them. Maybe next year. Oh my god, these look so good. Excuse me. <laughs> what are these? You weren't supposed to notice those. We, we can't take that to Josie. No. <laughs> I'll have it though. I bet. You meant to wait until the icing sugar went on. That's going to get creative. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Wow. That is like literally the most crude thing I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> on a slightly more pure note, I found my glossy <laughs> A uh, little, what do you call them, cookie cutter from last year when they released cookiebalm.com. So I might make a glossier one as well. See guys, this is what I was talking about when I said the side of my little coffee cup, the side of my saucer, was missing something. Oh, look at that. Is that not something your dreams are made of? Oh, yes. Merry Christmas, everyone. Auntie Josie. Come on, you've got to match me. We're wearing neutrals today. Ah, oh, perfect. You are just perfect. High five. Good girl. We are almost ready to leave and this is the hamper. Sans Brighton Gin, obviously. Um, but yeah, the little shrimps did really well. Um, I think they look just like her. Look, doesn't that look like her? <laughs> Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. So yeah, 
Josie and Charlie are getting, I've just washed my hands by the way, so this is fine. Josie and Charlie are getting little shrimpy biscuits and then also bone shaped biscuits, which I just know that Josie will love. Um, we didn't have a festive tin, sadly, so they're getting a glossier tin, but I'm sure they won't mind. So yeah, really happy with how this has come out actually. Wow, my hair today is crazy, but yeah. I'm really happy with how the hamper has come out. To be honest, Ryan needs most of the credit because he did pretty much all of it. Very grateful because I could not have pulled this off without him. This week has been crazy, um, honestly. I, when I first wanted to have the bangs, this is what I envisioned, this is what I wanted, and now I don't want it anymore and I've accidentally just done it. But yeah, let's head off to Winter Wonderland, AKA Josie's house. She literally texted me this morning like, my house is like Winter Wonderland, not quite. <laughs> can't wait, I can't wait. Look at you, you are so smart. Look at that tail, it's like a little helicopter. We have just had dinner. We're chilling, me and my partner in crime, literally. Alex said it looked like we'd broken out of a jail. <laughs> my love said it. It does look a bit like a robbed bank. <laughs> <laughs> bank robber chic. <laughs> in our lily silk and totem. <laughs> We've just had dinner and it was delish. Uh, Josie and Charlie made us curries. Mm, so good. Uh, and now apparently there's a vegan banoffee pie coming out. How excited are you, mister? Can't wait for that. It's like one of Ryan's favorites. <laughs> we haven't had that in almost a year. Ryan last made it at his house last Christmas, so I'm very excited for this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've just been chilling. Ryan, um, Ryan, Nala has taken herself off to the living room for some quiet time. Ryan's we literally, gone for <laughs> Ryan's, <laughs> Ryan's gone for his evening nap. No, we found Nala just like chilling in the living room on her own. Like, yeah, we've lost her again. Like, she actually does keep disappearing for some quiet time. I think she's very well. Also, how gorgeous is this table set up? Like. We've got all the foliage here and all the foliage. It's stunning. I think this is corn. Yeah, I think actual people. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. These. Is it is it these or is it these? Oh my god, I don't these bits here, yeah. these are like pink peppercorns. Oh my god, it's going too dark. Hang on. These these here, these are pink peppercorns. How incredible is that? Wow. Josie, you have outdone yourself.
staying in the pink room. How gorgeous is this? I've actually just turned down the bed. Um, there were lovely cushions on this and everything, but I've just been getting it ready to sleep in in here. And this is just the prettiest room ever. It's so gorgeous. And Josie and Charlie have left us some little treats and a little card. They literally are the best hosts. So sweet. But I'm gonna get ready for bed now. So I will see you guys in the morning, but also in the next vlog, because this is where I'm gonna end things today. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me ready for this trip and enjoyed seeing a little snippet of what's to come. And I will see you guys again in the morning slash next vlog. Love you, bye.